I got the afternoon free. You want to watch some of that double header? Actually, I'd love to, but I'm going downtown to watch it with the guys. Um, why wasn't I invited? For the same reason we didn't invite Bernie Madoff, because we knew you were unavailable. Listen, man, you just got married. The other guys have been married for years, and they still have to lie about where they're going. Oh, yeah? Well, I can go if I want to, and I don't have to lie about it. So you're going to tell Suzanne that you're going to spend six hours on a Sunday in a bar drinking beer and watching baseball with a bunch of dudes. $50 says that's exactly what I'm going to say. Exactly? Exactly, exactly. Come on, Mom, that isn't fair. That's like T.I. going to jail for killing Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Lindsay, that makes no sense. Exactly. What's going on? Oh, well, the kids are asking me about their allowance, but they haven't done any work around the house all week. Now, I pay you guys an allowance to be nice. I'm not going to pay y'all just to live here anymore. Come on. Your mother is right. You kids know an allowance is payment for work, just like a job. If you don't do your job, you don't get paid. Thank you, Nick. We promised to do more work this week. Yeah, we promise. And I promise to pay you when you do the work. What about this week? You should have thought about this week last week. If you don't start thinking about next week this week, you're going to have the same problem next week that you're having this week when you could have solved it last week. So we're not going to get our money from last week until next week? What about this week? There is no this week. Now, I don't understand what you're worried about. You have everything you need. But it's summer. We need disposable income. Well, by being lazy, you threw away last week's allowance. So I suggest, unless you want to dispose of this week's allowance, you get to work. Got it? Got it. Got it. Oh, hello, Martin. Hi, Suzanne. What are you guys up to today? Hmm, what are we up to, Nick? <laughs> today, I am going to a sports bar on a Sunday for six hours to drink beer and watch baseball with a bunch of dudes. Great, good for you. See? A real man doesn't have to lie to his wife. Now pay her. Next week. Are we there yet? Yeah, welcome to Booty. Hello. Man, I thought we were going to a regular sports bar. You didn't tell me we were going to Booty. What's wrong with Booty? It's a pirate-themed sports bar, hence the name Booty, like treasure. Oh, hi, guys. That's treasure. Man, I gotta get out of here. How am I gonna explain this to Suzanne? Oh, aren't you the real man who doesn't have to lie to his wife? We're doing exactly what you said we were gonna do. We're at the bar, drinking beer, watching the game. Yeah, but she's gonna wanna know why I had to watch the game here. Because Booty has such amazing wings. <laughs> ah, here are the guys. Aha! Ahoy, mateys! <laughs> <laughs> uh, these wings are disgusting. <laughs> What's the score of the game? Uh, 36 to 24 to 40. Wow. This is a high scoring game. So what'd you tell Suzanne to get out the house? I told her I was coming to watch the game. <laughs> I did. I told my wife I was going to the grocery store. And on my way home, I'll be sure to stop at the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, I told my wife I was going to a strip club. Instead, I came here. What is wrong with you, man? I got an idea. Let's tell Treasure that it's Nick's birthday, and we'll get them to give him one of those special birthday celebrations. Oh, love that. What special birthday celebration? Come on, man. You never had a booty birthday? <laughs> no, and I don't want a booty birthday. I didn't know it was your birthday, Nick. How old are you? <laughs> oh, Treasure, oh. this scallywag be having a birthday. Hey. <laughs>
all our chores. I cleaned up my room and I took all the clothes out of my hamper. Yep, and I made my bed and unclogged the toilet. <laughs> Kevin, aren't you the one who clogged the toilet? Yeah, it was a good one. <laughs> so, do we get our allowances now? Guys, I'm really proud of you for doing those things, but no. So I unclogged the toilet for nothing? No, you unclogged the toilet because that's nasty. So what exactly do we need to do to get our allowance? You need to show some initiative and I'll pay you for what it's worth. We are showing initiative. How? By trying to convince you to give us money. <laughs> I'm so glad you had a good time today with your friends. Where'd you guys go anyway? No hitter? No, I don't think so. There's some other place. Was it the scoreboard? No, I don't think so. Well, there's only a few sports bars. You guys were downtown, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you think so? Were you or weren't you? I don't know. You know, Martin was driving. I was just out having a good time. Nick, were you or weren't you downtown at a sports bar watching the baseball game? I was. Well, you weren't at the scoreboard. You weren't at no hitter. So where were you? Dang, I don't remember the name of it. Well, the only other place that's open on Sundays is Booty. And I know you aren't at Booty. Hmm. Which one was that again? The one with all the girls with the big booties dressed in pirate outfits. Hmm. Come to think of it, yeah, I think that's where we were. Yes. Worse, drinking, watching the game with your friends at Booty? Baby, you told me to go out and have a good time. Not when it's at Booty. Baby, it's not what you think. Look, they just have the most TVs, the, the cheapest beer, and the best wings. You lied to me. No, I didn't. Look, baby, I didn't even know that's where we were going until we got there. Okay, so why didn't you tell me that's where you were when you got home? Because it didn't come up, and when it did, I told you. So what's the problem? <laughs> really don't know what the problem is? No, I don't. Well, you are about to find out. journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Tucson with America's best warranty. Now, get 2.99% APR for 60 months or up to 1,500 total savings on the Tucson. See your local Hyundai dealer today. Here's some more RACs for you, Mom. Thank you, Lindsay. Yeah. Let me get that for you, Mom. And we also got up extra early and washed your car and swept up the front yard. So, can we have our allowances now? No. What? How come? Well, because I noticed that your beds aren't made, and Lindsay, you have clothes all over the floor, and Kevin, the toilet is backed up again. <laughs> Just because you wake up early and wash my car and clean the front yard doesn't mean you get to neglect your everyday chores. So I washed your car for nothing? You didn't wash my car for nothing. Now both of you go upstairs and clean your rooms. Hi, Nick. Hey. Where's my breakfast? Why don't you eat at Booty since you love their food so much? Where's your breakfast? It's ridiculous. They don't even serve breakfast. Something, Gigi. Hmm. 
what do you do when you find out a man's been withholding information from you? Well, it depends on two things. The kind of information and how I found out. Like this one time I found out, not only was this guy cheating on me, but he was lying about his money. How'd you find out? The other woman told me. <laughs> he and I had just come back from Aruba, and she said he had just taken her to Aruba. And I was going to stay with him until I found out where he was getting his money from. Where? From her? <laughs> if I had known that, I would have gone to Aruba with her, and we both could have got a man. <laughs> Does that help? Not really. Is Nick hiding something from you? Well, yesterday he went to watch baseball for six hours with his friends uh -huh. at Booty. Booty. I love Booty. You do? I do. It's so much fun. How'd you find out? I asked him and he admitted he went. <laughs> you asked him a question and he could have lied, but he told you the truth and now you're mad at him. Yes. I can see that. <laughs> to talk about booty. Suzanne, I still don't know what the big deal is. Look, it's just a fun place where guys go to watch games. Mm-hmm. So who won the game? The, um... <laughs> and that's why it's a big deal. Oh, so now I gotta tell you about every place I go to do everything I do? When you go grocery shopping, I don't know exactly where you go. Because the guys bagging my groceries aren't walking around with oily pecs in jock straps talking about paper or plastic. <laughs> Look, Suzanne, it's not like that. Okay, you're overreacting. I just told you they have the best wings, all right? Look, all kinds of people go there, families, everybody. Really? Really. Okay, fine. I believe you. Thank you. So tonight, you, me, and the kids are going to eat at Booty. Mm -hmm. We're going to order the wings. And you can turn your music back on. Uh, so you sure you want to do this? Yep. I really want to taste those wings. <laughs> I can't believe we're really gonna eat there. Me neither, this is awesome. I've always wanted to go there. For what? It's food served by pirates. Yeah, in booty shorts. <laughs> Well, here we are, just like you wanted. Whoa, look at the size of those jugs. Kevin, that is no way to talk about a woman. He's talking about the pitchers of beer. Whoa, look how big that booty is. He's talking about the treasure chest by the door. No, I'm not. This place is tacky. Are we really gonna eat here? Yes, we are. I'm doing this to prove a point to your father. What point? That he has no taste in food. Oh, hey, Nick, how you doing? Hey. How's it going? Treasure. Yes. I'm Suzanne. I'm Nick's wife. Oh, Suzanne, beautiful. Thank I didn't know you. you were married, Nick. That's great. Well, you have your beautiful kids with you. Thank you. Okay, so what can I get you to order? We have heard so much about those wings. Ah, those wings. So how about I bring you some over? Great. All right, birthday boy. I'll be right back. <laughs> birthday boy. Oh. I almost forgot. Martin and the guys thought it'd be funny if they told the waitresses it was my birthday. Oh, and what type of celebration do they do? Um, you just get some free wings. You sing happy birthday. It's no big deal. All right, ladies, listen up. We got another birthday. Buddy, you got yourself into this one. 
What are you talking about? You don't want to drag me down there. Yeah, but I didn't tell you to turn it into a family field trip. <laughs> it doesn't matter. She would have gotten mad anyway. Yes, but if you had told her, she would have gotten mad ahead of time, which is a lot better. None of this would have happened if she hadn't seen that stupid birthday celebration. Nick, please tell me she did not witness a booty birthday. <laughs> she witnessed a booty birthday. Oh, come on, man. Listen, you say you want my help, but then you won't even tell me everything that happened. You're like Kaiser Soze, just doling out little pieces of information, hoping I'll figure it out like I'm the closer or something. Do I look like Kira Sedgwick to you? You want my advice? Here it is. Be Nick, okay? Don't be some phony acting Nick who thinks he can do whatever he wants even though he's married, because if your wife is mad at you and you were with me, it's only a matter of time before I start catching heat. If I wanted some wife to be mad at me, I'd go to Russia and I'd buy one of my own. Mom, we finished everything. So can we have our allowances now? Well, I guess you guys have earned it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> All right, Kevin, go get my purse, please. Thank you. $50. Okay, here you go, $5 each. $5? That's it. If we would have known we were only going to get paid $5, we would have never did any of this stuff. Which is exactly why I didn't tell you I was giving you $5. Okay. I'm going to go back upstairs, take all my clothes out of my hamper, and throw them back down on the floor. I want to call the toilet. Freeze! So, just because I don't give in to your demands, you're going to go destroy my house? Who are you, the Taliban? I do not negotiate with terrorists. So here is the deal. You're either going to take the $5 or you're going to take nothing. We'll take it. And you'll be happy about it. Thank you. Y'all better not mess up my house. bucks each like no didn't your mother give you an allowance yeah but it was only five bucks and a full day at the mall is going to cost me at least a 20. well why don't you take that five bucks and spend a quarter day at the mall or you can save that five bucks keep doing work until you have the money you need that's the lesson your mom's trying to teach you we don't want lessons we want money Did you want to live to spend it <laughs> what do you need the money for i don't know stuff stuff you guys are pulling your hair out because you want money, and you don't even know what you want it for? We want mad money. I'm not giving you guys money just so you can have it. I'm sorry. We forgive you. Now, can we have some money? No. Do some work. Fine. Maybe I'll get a job at Booty. Suzanne. What are you afraid of? That he's gonna leave you for a girl with a big booty and a bucket of wings? I don't know. Let me tell you this. Big booty is unavoidable. It's at the park. It's at the grocery store. It's even at church. You can't hide from big booty. Big booty, it's everywhere. I know that booty is everywhere. I don't need him to but it's not. But if he's gonna go there, I just wanna know about it, that's all. Well, have you tried telling him that? I mean, come on. You're good. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I don't know how you do it. I wish I was more like you. Every time you get in trouble, you just blurt out the truth. <laughs> they always say the cover-up is worse than the crime. Mm. Hey, babe. Hey. I just ran into the kids. Thank you for backing me up. Oh, well, you're right. You're teaching them a valuable lesson. I'm trying to. 
You know, you could have just told me you were at Booty. I was afraid you would have gotten mad. That's right, I would have. What am I supposed to do? You're supposed to get used to me getting mad at things. Great. No, but I would have gotten over it. Yeah, I don't understand why you even want to go there. Okay, I understand. No, it's not even that I want to go to Booty. It's just that I don't like knowing there are places I might want to go and can't. Nick, I don't care where you go. I just care about what you do. I'll tell you what. You tell me beforehand, and you can go to Booty anytime you want. Except your actual birthday. Why? What do you think I might do? End up in the hospital if I even think you did something besides eat wings. <laughs> I have all the wings I need right here. Oh, I forgot. I got you something. You got me something? Yeah. I, it's for me, but it's mostly for you. <laughs> oh. Well, first we'll dive into these, and then we'll dive into those. <laughs> Don't stop. Uh, 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 uh,